Hey, it's Kai and welcome to Hardware Heaven. Today we are going to be doing a game review, more importantly a DLC review for Skyrim. We are going to be taking a look at Dragonborn, so let's get right into it. is set a year after Skyrim and resides in an area called Saltsheim. You start off by being attacked by a bunch of cultists which give you a letter. You then read the letter to find out that the real Dragonborn is trying to kill you and that you need to take a boat over to Saltsheim. You start your big long adventurous mission of your primary quest line. There is around about six to eight hours of the quest line of a ton of new content that you can explore. There's also a massive variety of side quests that you can also do in Solstheim. There's things like riding dragons, there's a whole new bunch of dungeons and there are a load of new mechanics as well as gear and weapon skins that you can get for your character. Even high level characters will be able to enjoy the new content. If you've already put a ton of hours into Skyrim and are still loving it, Dragonborn DLC is a nice addition to the game that you've already got. Although there's no graphical upgrades, these new storyline and dungeons add some great mechanics that will still make it interesting. There's a lot of new things to explore, the scenery is great, although that you will find that it looks a little bit dated considering it's using the same graphical engine as that the original Skyrim and Dawnguard and the Hearthfire have been using. The dungeons bring a whole new style of gameplay with some really pretty designs and things that will still challenge you even if you are a veteran Skyrim player. There are new shouts to learn, new abilities to master and overall things that I think the seasoned Skyrim players will enjoy. However, if you picked up Skyrim, maybe played 10 to 15 hours, decided that it wasn't really for you, then Dragonborn wouldn't be something that I would advise getting. It's definitely something that if you enjoyed the storyline, you've completed the game, you've completed Dawnguard, you build your house in Hearthfire, and you're really wanting some additional content to add to your already existing experience in Skyrim, then Dragonborn is definitely for you. If you want to ride a dragon, if you want to meet some new mobs to kill, if you want to get through all of the dungeons and finally defeat the Dragonborn, then do it. It's a great experience. The quest line is extremely fun and it's challenging as well. Some parts of Skyrim maybe felt a little bit too easy, especially if you out leveled it. Killing the dragons became a little bit boring. You've got all of the shouts, you've got everything you need to do. This does bring a new challenge and it means you don't have to keep the game on a dusty shelf or dusty Steam library if that's how you play. You can bring it back out and really continue to enjoy this experience if you've clocked over 100 hours in the game. Despite the fact it's using the same graphical engine, Solstheim is a really pretty place. There are areas that look a lot like the Morrowind feel of the game. There's snowy mountains to nice little villages and I really feel that if you are into exploring it and still love how Skyrim looks and you play it because it is a pretty game, then you will not be let down. If you are specifically just wanting to buy this expansion to ride dragons, then I should let you know that it doesn't happen until right at the very end of the quest line. Now you can't actually just fly around riding a dragon as you please and just shooting everything with fire that's not how it works it's a little bit more controlled than that and you can land and target things and that's how the combat works on a dragon the actual way that you control a dragon is by a shout that you get and that actually means that you can control a dragon at your will and be able to fly it that way so it's not kind of something that you just gather or something like that. It's actually a shout that you learn. You have to complete the quest line to get that shout to be able to control the dragons. So you will have to put in a little bit of time, probably about six hours to be able to get to that point. So be warned, you can't just get Dragonborn and start mounting dragons as you please. That's not how it works. It is a really enjoyable experience. I'm actually doing a let's play on it on my channel because I'm really enjoying the quest line, the new challenges that it's posing in Skyrim and really brings that RPG element back because it's a much linear storyline than previous quest lines in Skyrim. I'm feeling there's a lot more structure to it. You finish one part, you go to a next part and it feels like you've got something to do all the time rather than sometimes having 
having to go to various towns or strongholds and having to collect quests, it's a lot more linear and it's really a great way to actually experience Skyrim if you found that sometimes you were just wandering around aimlessly with nothing to do. So I'm personally really enjoying it. I would recommend it, although I would say again, if you want a seasoned Skyrim player and it's not something that you previously enjoyed very much, it's probably not going to reel you in enough to buy it. However, if you love Skyrim and you've clocked a lot of hours into it, it's definitely a great addition to your already seasoned experience in the game. I would say that there are specifically some mods that can aid the expansion and I would definitely look into it, especially looking at Nexus Mod Manager. I would say that the game does look a little bit dated without some nice mods on there, although they do encourage it, especially on the Steam Workshop, so definitely go check them out. It can aid your experience and make it a lot more enjoyable, especially things like an inventory manager and things like that. I do have on my Skyrim Let's Play a link to all of the mods that I have installed, so you can go check them out as well. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hoped it's helped. And let me know if you've bought the expansion in the comment section below. See you next time. Bye.